I think what we did was the right thing. We're moving in the right direction. We have serious issues to address, and I think that's exactly what we're doing with this operating budget, and we'll continue to move forward and look for more solutions down the road. And I think everybody knows in order to solve our real problems, we need more than six cents out of every tax dollar that we get. We need the province and the federal government to continue to be at the table. And these are things that we'll be working on. Otherwise, we're never going to address our infrastructure deficit. We're basically addressing recreational facilities. This is not the first time. Look at all the money that we've invested, $65 million in recreational facilities. We are still subsidizing it by almost 50%. So it's nowhere near cost recovery. It's something reasonable. And as I said, $1.53 is what an adult would have to pay extra. I think we all know, and even the delegation admitted, they're still gonna come. No one's not gonna be showing up. What this should be doing is motivating people. If you live in a condo, you pay less because you're taking up less frontage, it's high density. If you wanna work towards getting high density and more infill housing, this is successful. I don't think anybody realizes that every time the price of gas goes up one cent a liter. It costs us two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Ten cents, two and a half million. Twenty cents, five million. We don't like the fact that when Mother Nature doesn't cooperate, our snow budget can be out in the month of November by five million dollars. We don't like it. Once again, with Mother Nature and other elements, a potential flood that could cost us millions of dollars. These are our realities. You have to deal with them.